hate starting a video like this, but look at this. This is what I've been talking about. This is a security line just to go through the tram. It's like a sea of people. Whether you're looking to the left or the right, it's the same. And this is what I've been dealing with the past few times I've been here. And finally, we are at the Esplanade. But anyways, welcome back to another video. Today we are back at the Disneyland Resort. <laughs> it took about 40 minutes to get, go through that security line and finally get here from the parking lot. But uh, anyways, yesterday we went to Disneyland. In case you guys didn't see yesterday's video, that's where we went. Today we have a reservation for DCA though. We haven't been here in a good while. Uh, today's Tuesday, which means new pin release day. So I'm excited to see what new pins have been released for this week. And then besides that, we're gonna walk around as usual and see if there's anything else new around the park. But right now it's like currently, 9 47 in the morning and here's how it looks to enter dca today not too bad all right so we're gonna give this new way to enter the park another chance or another try as usual you scan your tickets down there and there i am what i say and just like that we're inside the park now i think our first stop of the day is gonna be five and dime like usual and then we'll cross the street well we'll go through like disney clothing not disney clothing sorry elias and co and all that and then we'll cross over and head to uh, Trolley Treats and Julius Captain Sons to show you guys the pins. So we just got inside of Five and Dime and it looks like they moved the ear wall toward the left side of the store now. It used to be on the right. And sadly, I wish there was something new on the wall to show you guys, but currently it looks like they have all the same ears we've already seen in the past. They do still have that deal going on though that if you buy two, they're $30 each. Oh, and speaking of deals, wait till you see this next one. It's pretty good. So do you guys remember this launch fly bag? It's part of the 2024 line. Well, it is on sale. Look at that. Dated Loungefly all over print backpack, 40 bucks plus tax. That is not bad at all. And your discounts apply too. So it'll be 40 minus your 20. So you'll be getting this backpack pretty cheap. So if you ever wanted a Loungefly bag right now, it's definitely the time to get it. And it's not a bad Loungefly bag either. It's pretty nice. I actually enjoy, I actually think it's cool anyways, but yeah, $40. So we ended up coming to the women's department of Lies & Co. And there's some slap bracelets here that I feel like I've never seen before, but they're actually pretty cool. I know, I know it's a slap bracelet, but still like, you know how Disney does things. They make things pretty cool, and, and that's what they did with these. Let me want to show you guys. They're like plush slap bracelets. Hold on, let me see if I can undo this one hand. This is tough. Okay, I got it. Look. This one's Winnie the Pooh. They have Marie. And then they even have Stitch. That is pretty cool. See? I would probably wear something like this because I think that's awesome like that, but um, regular side bracelets, eh, this looks more like a bracelet in my opinion. The other ones look, I don't know, you can kind of tell that they're side bracelets in my opinion, if that makes any sense. Uh, as far as pricing goes, it doesn't say how much they are sadly, but if you guys want to find them, you can find them here at Elias Co. Alright, so now we're in the last room of Elias Co. and over here, just like at Disney Clothiers, they got the new Dooney & Burke collection. See, they have them behind the counters, they got the new Stitch Dooney & Burke line, they got the purse, or the crossbody, sorry, wallet, and the tote bag. But that was basically everything like, I had to show you guys on this side of the street, we're like the Elias Co. and Five and Dime side of the street. I think now we're going to cross the street and head to Trolley Treats. <laughs> so here at Trolley Treats, looks like they got in the new Donald Duck Munchling. This is the one to celebrate his 90th anniversary. And then I think next up, I'm gonna show you guys the treat display. So for the most part, it looks like they have all the same treats you can find at Disneyland, except for the Grogu Apple and the Tigger Tail. But we do have the Forky Kick Pop, just in case you guys are looking for that. But now for what you guys have been waiting for, and so have I, the new pins. All right, so we have seven new pins, and I feel like all of them are awesome. Let me start with this one. This is probably one of my favorites. This one's themed to up. It's the 15th anniversary of it. This one is too cool. It's got Carl and Ellie on there. This one's 1999. They have the This Is My Home pin. This one's themed to Mulan. This one is 1999. They have a new Bicosa Adventures pin. Looks like it's themed to Astro Orbiter. This one's 1999. Then they have uh, three pins, or mystery box and two pins for the Donald Duck 90th anniversary. Fire Quacker. 
This one's $19.99. They have a mystery box, which when you get all the pieces, it makes up his hat. It's pretty cool. This one's $29.99. And then here are, look at the pieces you can get. This one's $29.99. And then the last pin for the 90th anniversary of Donald Duck, they have this one. It's like a mashup of all the different versions of him, which is kind of cool. This one's $21.99, and it's limited to $2,000. And then the last pin I have to show you guys is... It's like a tie between this one and this one, but they are both up-themed. It's Carl and Ellie when they, you know, age, or when they've aged. <laughs> this one's $44.99. Man, such a nice pin, though. So we just left Julius Cast and Sons, and man, there were so many good pins that came out today. I'm very uh, happy that they came out with the type of pins they came out with. Of course, my favorite were up, the up ones because like, that's my favorite Pixar movie. Uh, besides that, I'd say the 90th anniversary pins were pretty cool, and then like my least favorite was probably the this is my home pin, and then the Bicoastal one. Those were like, eh. but the other ones are really awesome though. If I had 44.99 to spend on a pin, I would have definitely bought that jumbo up pin. Oh, that's awesome! Look, it's Mickey Mouse making everybody happy. So in case you're wondering where we're headed to next, we're actually gonna, or we're gonna be making our way to Hollywood Studios. But first, I wanted to show you guys that they have that uh, 90th anniversary Donald Duck munching popcorn bucket. That was a mouthful. So over here in the last room of Elias & Co, or at the end of Elias & Co, at the popcorn cart, by the exit, they have the new popcorn buckets. I think it was $22? Hold on. Yeah, $22 and you get popcorn, but just want to show you guys what I have it here at DCA as well as Disneyland. Alright, so now we're here in Hollywood Studios, or should I say Club Pixar. <laughs> That's a cool neon sign, but yeah, Club Pixar. So now we're standing in front of Stage 17, and it doesn't look like there's anything different about it. I think they even have the same banners as last- oh, I know, I'm lying. They actually have a new Doctor Who banner up there, or billboard. But that's about it. Still doesn't like they're doing anything with this building just yet. Or if they ever will again. So in case you guys didn't know this, one of my favorite rides here at, uh, at DCA is Monsters, Inc. And I just checked and it's only a 10 minute wait. So I think we're going to wait the 10 minutes and then get on because it's been a while. I'm not even kidding when I say this. After that last clip, I checked the wait time in person and then went up to a 20 minute wait. <laughs> but we're still going to wait. We're over here in the queue already. The Monstropolis Chamber of Commerce would like to welcome you. While you're in town, be sure to... We interrupt this program for a special report. A child is on the loose in Monstropolis. A human child! Yeah, my thoughts were not my own. Then it grabbed me with your quiet bullshit. Oh, dude, we gotta get you home. So yeah, I saw we were able to get on Monsters, Inc. It took, I want to say like a little bit less than 20 minutes, so that was good. And as always, the ride was awesome, so it's definitely worth the wait. But I think now we're going to leave Hollywood Studios and head toward Avengers Campus. Check it out, right outside of Hollywood Studios, they have this photo op, which I think I showed you guys last time I was here. Someone says we are incredible, and look who's out, Mr. Incredible. So our first stop of Avengers Campus is actually Collector's Warehouse. There's nothing really new in here, but I want to say the newest items are probably the lounge ride bag that looks like the comic book. They have this Marvel hat, they have the Captain America hat, and then I think the Thor hat. I think that's Thor stuff, so like on the fence, but I think that's Thor. That one's pretty new. And of course, they have the Captain America ears and the Spirit jersey, which these are probably like maybe a week or so old. So these are pretty new still. Okay, I lied. I did find something that was, well, new to me anyways. I've never seen this, so I'm going to say it's new. So you guys know I'm always looking out for like pop sockets. They have this one, which I have never seen this one before. It's Groot. And the cool part is, it's see-through. See? Through. 
kind of like it. This one's $19.99. Just like I mentioned last time, though, I do like the enamel ones, but this one, this is actually, per, uh, it's, it's worth getting in my opinion. I like how it's clear like that. Hey, yeah, man, how's it going? What you got there? I got a little bug land around here. Look at that. I uh, know. That's pretty cool. The lines are really long, but it's okay. Ants like lines. <laughs> Thanks for showing me, Ant-Man. Have a good day. Of course. Have a good day. So after we saw Ant-Man, we ended up coming to Web Slingers, and looks like they still have the Spider-Man ears in stock. So in my opinion, I feel like this is probably the only store you can find these ears at. I haven't been able to see, I haven't seen these like at World of Disney or anything like that in a while, but if you guys are looking for these Spider-Man ears, they do have them here at Web Slingers in Avengers Campus. Um, before we leave Web Slingers, I have one more thing to show you guys. So you guys know how the Pride Collection dropped over here at the Disneyland Resort, well, and Universal, but Disneyland Resort. I didn't know that they had a Pride Collection Spider-Bot as well. That's kind of cool. This one's $29.99. If I'm not mistaken, I think there should be like a a droid, like an R, R, R series unit or something like that that's gonna be Pride themed as well. So this is a pretty bad transition, but we ended up leaving Avengers Campus and now we're over here at Pixar Pier. Look at that. I swear I could just like sit somewhere in this area and just stare at this all day. That's like, this is definitely my favorite part of DCA. Uh, they do have good rides too, but I just love this view. It's beautiful. So I've checked a few shops on Pixar Pier and have had no luck in new mer or finding new merchandise. But as usual, we're going to head to Bing Bongs and hopefully we can find something there. So we just got inside of Bing Bongs and I'm looking at the treat display and I'm seeing one that I've never seen before. Not sure if it came out when Pixar Pier or Pixar Fest already started or I don't know. I'm guessing that's probably what it was, but it's a up themed cake pop. See, it's the little grape soda cap thing. That's awesome. I wonder what it tastes like though. It just says seasonal cake pop. This one's $6.99. And then besides that, they have like all the usual stuff. Who's the best in every way? Monster saying the song to say Bing Bong, Bing Bong. Well, unfortunately, there was nothing new inside of Bing Bongs today. Uh, I did ask a cast member because I was so curious. I was like, what does that cake pop taste like? He said it tastes like vanilla. Or one of the cast members was like, oh, it tastes like Forky, which is vanilla. They said that when the store first opened, because that's like, I guess it's the returning treat. I just haven't, I guess from like the time when it first came out and they stopped it and then they brought it back, I haven't been here. So I missed out on it the first, and then I barely seen it for the first time now. But they said it used to taste like grape soda, but that it wasn't popular. So they ended up switching it to vanilla when it came back. So over here at Seaside Souvenirs, it looks like they have that deal on display here too for the 2024, uh, launch my bag just in case you're looking for it they have them here five and dime because i'm pretty sure like once people find out about this deal or if they don't know about it they're probably gonna come pick it up i mean still regardless it's still a launch my bag and it's not an ugly one either but anyways that was basically everything i have to show you guys for today it wasn't a whole lot of new stuff they do have a lot of the stuff that i've shown you guys previously i think that the newest thing i've probably seen today is probably the pins and that group pop socket which i'm not even sure if that's new or not but like i said i've never seen it uh but yeah i'm in the video right here in front of my favorite view of DCA. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So pretty.